Is aircraft maintenance engineering a good career to go for? If you're wondering what the future of aircraft maintenance engineer will look like, then this video is for you. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be breaking down my points into five sections. The first one will be focused on the job opportunities for aircraft maintenance engineers in the future. The second one will be focused on the change in regulation and certifications for aircraft maintenance engineer. The third one will be focused on the pay for aircraft maintenance engineers in the future and the last one will be focused on the working situations for aircraft maintenance engineers number one job opportunities for aircraft maintenance engineers when it comes to the job opportunities for aircraft maintenance engineers this is something i can personally vouch for i remember personally when i graduated from school it was so hard to get a job back then but in the year 2023 it is so much easier for you to get a job as a licensed aircraft maintenance engineer and also as an apprentice i personally know companies that do not hire apprentices with no experience but nowadays i actually see them hiring apprentices straight from school and that is because a lot of these older aircraft maintenance engineers are actually retiring which actually which actually increase the shortage of aircraft maintenance engineers which actually increase the demand for aircraft maintenance engineers and also if you compare the way people actually take air transportation 10 years ago it's something that has actually increased now a lot of people are actually flying for vacation for business which actually increased the demand for maintenance which actually increased the demand for aircraft maintenance engineer and also this is something i have noticed personally i don't know if you guys know these mro companies these um private organizations that perform every check for aircraft um five years ten years ago there was not a lot of mro companies in canada but nowadays i know even three i know three new mro companies that have actually moved to canada and which they are actually looking for a lot of license and apprentice aircraft maintenance engineers so for you guys that are wondering what the future the job opportunities for aircraft maintenance engineers will look like in the future i would say it's something that will increase although unless it is like a pandemic or there's like a you know shift in economy and this is something i cannot predict right although if there's situations like that I don't see the job opportunities coming down anytime soon but you also got to understand right you cannot just keep staying in your house complaining that there is no job for you to get your first job as an apprentice especially this is something you gotta be ready to do you gotta be ready to make that sacrifice to relocate you know that's why i keep telling you guys you gotta be ready to make that sacrifice to relocate to get your first job you know you gotta be ready to go somewhere far to get your first job and that is because there will, there's gonna be a lot of opportunities everywhere in the province but you just gotta be ready to make that sacrifice to move and once you get your first job and you get your license then you can actually move to the city you want to move to so for you guys that are wondering what the future the job opportunities for aircraft maintenance engineers will look like i will say personally it's something that will increase and i don't see it coming down anytime soon number two change in regulations and certifications for aircraft maintenance engineers for you guys don't know the requirement to become a licensed aircraft maintenance engineer is you gotta go to school for two years then you work as an apprentice for two years and six months within your first two years you can actually write your canadian regulation exam which is your course exam once you pass your exam then you can get your license as a aircraft maintenance engineer me personally i see i feel like the process is too long compared to america for you to become an amp technician all you gotta do is go to school for i believe 18 months and after 18 months you can actually write your effort my power, uh, power plant exam and that's it you get your license you get your amp license um for canada it's a little bit long and this is something i definitely see transport canada changing with time and that is because the shortage the process is too long and also the shortage of licensed aircraft maintenance engineer 
it's a lot you know and for them to balance out the shortage of licensed aircraft maintenance engineers it's something they gotta reduce the process so let's say instead of working as an apprentice for two years and six months it's something I actually see them reducing to like a year and six months. And also, there are different ratings in aircraft maintenance engineering. So you have your M license, you have your E license, you have your S license. In America, once you get your AMP license, all you gotta do is get one license and you can actually work on both maintenance and avionics side. But in Canada, there's a speciality. So you either become an M licensed person or you become an E licensed person. In the future, I definitely see them having a, com a combination of both licenses. So instead of you having a separate license, I definitely see Transport Canada combining both licenses. So for you guys that are wondering what the certification and regulation will be for aircraft maintenance engineer this is something i definitely feel like transport canada might actually re-regulate in the future number three salary for aircraft maintenance engineers when it comes to the pay for aircraft maintenance engineers this is something i would definitely say will increase a lot more in the future and that is because compared to when I graduated personally, an average apprentice straight from school with no experience was making between $15 and $16 an hour. Even licensed person was making like $25 an hour. But now as an apprentice, you can actually start off with $25 an hour. Even as a licensed person, you actually start off with like 30 to 35 dollars an hour and this is something i definitely see increasing in the future and that is because not only the the changing economy you know things are more expensive now but also because of the shortage of aircraft maintenance engineers and also the work the working hours and you know the demand i definitely see the pay increasing a lot more but you also gotta understand right it depends on a lot of factors right it depends on you know your location the company you work for you know the economy but this is something i definitely see increasing a lot more so for you guys that are wondering what the pay will look like for aircraft maintenance engineer in the future i would say be expecting let's say five years from now be expecting licensed aircraft maintenance engineers to be making between 45 to 65 dollars an hour man you know what i'm saying that is because the demand for aircraft maintenance engineers have increased a lot and i definitely see the pay increasing more in the future number four working situations for aircraft maintenance engineers when it comes to the working situation for aircraft maintenance engineers in the future this is something i would say it's kind of like a disadvantage and that is because in the year 2023 the working situations for aircraft maintenance engineer i would say it's a lot more it has a combination of long hours a lot of night shift a lot of overtime and it can get a little bit stressful and i definitely see it getting worse in the future and that is because the demand people are actually traveling a lot now in the future i actually see people traveling even more in the future and which actually increase the demand for maintenance which actually increase long hours for aircraft maintenance engineers so if the government do not find a way to balance the shortage of aircraft maintenance engineer in the future i definitely see the working situations for aircraft maintenance engineers getting worse in the future there's gonna be a lot of long hours a lot of overtime a lot of night shift and so for you guys that are trying to get into the industry and you're wondering what the working situation will be like for aircraft maintenance engineering in the future i would say this is something you gotta be ready for man you gotta be ready to do those 12 hours a day a lot of overtime you know what i'm saying that is because the shortage of aircraft maintenance engineer is a lot now you know and and the demand has increased a lot so yeah those are my few points of what i feel like the future for aircraft maintenance engineers will look like if you guys have any more questions please let me know down in the comment sections for you guys that are watching and not subscribing man you gotta show your boy some love and subscribe like and share you know what i'm saying so if you guys have any personal questions 
please let me know now in the comment section and also you can actually text me on instagram we can actually schedule a one-on-one -on -one call you know what i'm saying like i said my goal here on youtube is to help as many people as i can you know i don't know everything but the little i know i'm here to share with you guys so if you guys have any every minute have any more questions please let me know down in the comment section and do not forget to like share and subscribe love you guys